I've got some scrap pieces of plywood. The basic scenario for putting it together, if you can see this, is going to be, these aren't to dimensions yet, these are just the skins, is you're going to take two skins of plywood. This stuff is uh, relatively thin. Uh, it's five millimeter. And this is just some scrap uh, trim that was laying around. But this is going to be my spacer. I'll cut it down to a specific dimension, probably about a, a little less than an inch. But you'll take the piece of wood, you'll put it in between your two skins, about a third from the leading edge, and you'll compress on both ends. And that, if you can see that, that gives you a wing shape. And that's going to be what we do today. Okay, my camera cut out, so I can't say exactly where we left off, but it's just a recap. I'm building a centerboard. This one's for a 15 foot mutineer. What we've done so far is we've cut two skins. They're 15 inches long. These currently are 48 inches. They're 15 inches in cord. They're 48 inches long. One third from the leading edge, about five inches. We're gonna put in a spacer so we can make our wing shape. That spacer is this. It's just about three quarters of an inch thick. Overall, it'll give us just about the one inch thickness, which will be an 8% uh, rating when compared to the length of the cord. That will be for the centerboard. Centerboards can actually be skinny, really skinny. They don't have to be, have a very large wing because large angle of attack compared to the motion of the boat. Rudders, you want to have more lift on those since they're swinging around all the time. So when we do the rudder we're going to do a 12% grade on that one. But as for where we are right now for the Centerboard, we're going to try gluing and clamping it. Okay, right, so here it is, all clamped up. It tells it took a lot of clamps, of course, to get around there because it's a tight bend. But here you can start to see the foil shape that we're making. There's the strut, the bar that we put straight down the center. There, you got your uh, start for your center board. This is going to take 24 hours to cure. I also threw a battery up on top there just to make sure we kept pressure down right on the ribs.